Hello everyone and welcome to What's New in Mabel 2015 for Engineers, Researchers, and Scientists. My name is Stephen Forrest. I'm a product manager for Maples here at MapleSoft. And I'd like to share with you today some of the key new features in Maple 2015 of relevance to technical professionals such as engineers, researchers, and scientists. Before I get into the new features we have in Maple 2015, I'd just like to review the workflow that we propose for technical professionals making use of Maple and advanced projects. The first starts with formalizing a concept. At this stage, you might make use of Maple's tools for powerful symbolics, numerics, importing and exporting data, visualizing this data, and documenting your work. The next step in the chain is building knowledge. At this stage, you can make use of Maple's built-in tools, such as its flexible language, powerful tools for code development, many special purpose computation tools, such as signal processing and optimization, and many other productivity tools that found within Maple. The final step in the chain is integrating the output of Maple with the rest of your workflow. At this stage, you might make use of Maple's tools for presentation and visualization, Maple's tools for building print-ready documents, or integration with third-party products such as CAD tools. You can also make use of Maple's tools for automated code generation or various deployment mechanisms that are also published by MapleSoft, such as MapleNet or the Maple Player. Now let's move on to Maple 2015. As you can see here, there's a lot that's in Maple 2015, and we've made a lot of progress in a lot of areas. I won't have time to touch on all of these areas in this short webinar, but we will undertake a brief tour of some of the key functionality that you can see here on this summary slide. The first I'd like to mention is the addition of our datasets feature. With this, we integrate live connectivity to a growing list with currently over 12 million datasets. Much of this data is time series data. For example, current and historical stock data, econometric data, demographic data, and as you see here, meteorological data, all of which are varying in time. In Maple, you can initiate a search for this data simply by typing a query into the integrated search help bar. Here under datasets we can see some results from our live connection to this index of 12 million datasets. In this particular case we can see gold price in US dollars, net debt for many countries, and historical stock data for Great Basin Gold. We could also search for a different metal, for example silver. And Here we see some stock results for corporations trading in silver. We can also search for additional types of data, for example, meteorological data. Here we see some data set results including demographic data on the population affected by droughts or floods and a data set of global temperature anomalies. A nice application of the data sets package is also provided by the global temperature example page which makes use of data sets. In this application we can pull a list of global temperatures from the past 130 years and perform forecasting. You can see the one-step forecast line displayed in yellow. In this summary chart, in this summary chart, we see different percentile forecast projections, all of which consistently from the observed data project an increase in temperature over the next 20 years. This example illustrates both the depth and breadth of data that's at your fingertips with this new feature, but also the capacity of Maple to process and analyze such data, and the potential for building powerful integrated applications that make use of this data for computation and presentation. This provides a nice segue into the topic of data visualization. Maple 2015 contains a number of enhancements for data visualization, including a new command, data plot, which is intended to provide a ready-to-use tool for producing many types of data visualizations. This data plot command also works naturally with Maple's time series objects and the new data sets objects we've just discussed, as well as with conventional representations of data such as lists, sets, and vectors. Here we can see how this one single command, dataplot, is able to produce visualizations of many different types, including 3D plots, density plots, line graphs, bar charts, and area charts. Maple 2015 also continues the progress we've made with the introduction of our powerful command explore, which automatically generates an interactive application given 
a few lines of code. This can be used as a mechanism for generating a simple graphical application for exploring a mathematical or scientific quantity or controlling a visualization. As well, Mabel 2015 now contains two new components, the speaker and the microphone component, which offer a platform-independent way of including both sound input and sound output into your application. One of our new offerings in the domain of computation is the polyhedral sets package. This is a powerful new package for defining an arbitrary dimensional set using either of two methods, a system of relations, which we call the H representation, or a set of vertices and rays, which we call the V representation. After building a polyhedral set, you can explore its geometric and topological properties, compute volumes and surface areas, visualize two-dimensional and three-dimensional polyhedral sets, and then perform a set of standard set operations, for example, performing linear transformations on the set. This provides a sophisticated new mechanism for describing convex region in an arbitrary dimensional space in Maple. Here we can see how we can build polyhedral sets from a system of relations. We can visualize these sets, and we can perform useful computations with them. In this particular case, here we perform a geometric transformation of one set and compute the dual of another. Maple 2015 ex also expands Maple's offerings for advanced mathematics in a myriad of other ways of particular relevance for engineering and scientific computation. Maple's facilities for finding numeric solutions for differential equations now support delay differential equations. This significantly enhances the breadth of physical phenomena that can be modeled using Maple's tools for solving differential equations. Maple also now contains new tools for finding bivariate limits, new tools for rapidly computing and visualizing iterative maps, as we can see in this interactive exploration of a Gauss map. Also included is a new package supporting the arithmetic of ordinal numbers, as well as many updates and enhancements to existing functionality, including in physics, finance, grid computing, group theory, mathematical functions, and symbolic integration. Of course, these enhancements in computation also bring with them many innovations in visualization, some of which we've already seen, such as iterative maps, polyhedral sets, and the dataplot command. This offering expands Maple's ability to connect to and communicate with other applications and file formats in a number of different ways. First, Maple's suite of built-in code generation tools has been expanded to include JavaScript and the R programming language. The R code generator not only translates the basic Maple programming language, but many specialized computations involving statistics, data analysis, and data visualization. Many new and existing programmatic mechanisms for importing and exporting data into and out of Maple have been unified into a new pair of commands simply called import and export. With import and export, in most cases all you need to do is simply provide the path to the file name you want to read from or write to. Maple will take care of the rest. Maple also now supports many new formats for both import and export. These include the JSON language for data interchange, very popular for web applications, six new formats for encoding graph theoretic graphs, three text-based formats for encoding DNA and protein sequences, and two popular formats for cartographic data, KML and GPX. KML is a vector-based map format. This means that the underlying representation of the data has structure and can be integrated with Maple's other tools for visualizing vector graphics. Maple's powerful existing facilities for string manipulation can also be applied when analyzing data obtained from biological sequence formats. In this simple example, we compute frequencies of characters from a DNA sequence which correspond to nucleotides in the underlying molecule. We can get a sense of the breadth and scope of the powerful new generic import and export commands by seeing all the different types of data that they can import with no additional information needed for you to provide. Maple also contains some usability enhancements for units. In particular, 
the ability to change the display of a unit in place. With this enhancement, all that you need to do when you want to change the display of a unit is simply right click on the expression with the unit, select Units Formatting, and then choose your preferred unit, either by selecting a unit system, by selecting a preferred unit, or by naming a custom unit. Here, we can express the distance driven in miles, or if we prefer, by providing a custom unit of yards. Continuing the unit story, Maple 2015 offers a new object for representing an absolute temperature to better distinguish relative versus absolute temperatures. With this facility, you can enter absolute temperatures, compute their average, and compute their difference. As before, if we prefer to see this last temperature difference in Fahrenheit, we can simply right-click on it, select Units Formatting, and select Fahrenheit as a preferred temperature scale. This brings to a close our brief tour through some of the new features in Maple 2015 for engineers, researchers, and scientists. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen, and if you'd like to learn more about Maple or the other members of our product family, please visit www.maplesoft.com.